80% of Chinese EV makers are going bankrupt. Out of 500 Chinese EV startups, only two are turning a profit, while more than 100 EV companies went bankrupt last year. But why is China, one of the biggest EV markets, facing a major EV pushback? Thousands of new electric vehicles are lying in Chinese graveyards as their EV market is imploding. Our story begins in 2019, the early days of EVs, when China became the hub for global EV manufacturing and EVs were all the hype. Seeing how big EVs were gonna get in the future, literally every other startup wanted to make their own EV. But what happens if too many companies go up against each other while the number of buyers stays the same? The market collapses. All these companies started to undercut each other when it came to pricing, leading to a major price war. And only two companies, Tesla and BYD, came out on top. Even the German giant VW had to face a big shocker due to these ongoing price wars. But more on that later. Now, to further give you an idea of how bad things are in the Chinese market, let me tell you how Elon Musk literally lost $80 billion just by giving a statement related to China. Now, keep in mind that China is Tesla's second biggest market, and despite this, their sales went down. Elon Musk, the guy who made electric cars cool with Tesla, is feeling the heat from Chinese competitors. Chinese car companies, once dismayed by many, have been quietly mastering the art of making awesome electric cars that are more affordable. And just recently, BYD, that's the biggest Chinese EV maker backed by none other than Warren Buffett, beat Tesla in sales, becoming the top dog in the global EV sales race. Elon didn't just sit back, he sparked a price war to win over customers, slashing Tesla's prices left and right. But here's the kicker, doing so squeezed Tesla's profits to the point where investors started biting their nails in worry. Musk literally said, Chinese EVs can demolish our sales if things stay this way. As a result, Tesla's shares took a nosedive, erasing a jaw-dropping $80 billion in market value in just one day. Since the start of the year, Tesla's market cap has shrunk by $210 billion. That's a billion with a big ol' B. But he wasn't 100% right. The Chinese EV industry started going downhill after 2022, and the reason behind this might shock you. Now let me tell you about EV graveyards scattered all over China. So what's the deal with those? China decided to go big on electric cars, aiming to lead the global shift towards a cleaner, greener future. The government was practically throwing money at EV companies to get those zero emission beauties out on the road. The hype was crazy, and for a while it looked like China was zooming ahead in the EV race. But then, M. Night Shyamalan, plot twist, these vast fields of unused, unwanted electric cars started popping up. We're talking about models like the Geely Candy K10, Netta V, and BYD E3, all parked up in places like Hangzhou, looking pretty but going nowhere. These cars are brand new on the inside, with the plastic still on the seats and screens without a fingerprint in sight. And get this, they all have license plates, meaning they were officially sold at one point. Yet here they are, not cruising the streets, but slowly being reclaimed by nature. This is quite similar to the bike sharing boom and bust in China, where millions of bicycles ended up abandoned. But with cars, the stakes and the messes are even bigger. Many of these EVs were snapped up by ride hailing and car sharing services, lured in by juicy government incentives. But just as the market got flooded and newer models rolled out, these early EVs were benched. Now let's talk numbers. The EV market in China exploded thanks to government subsidies, with around 500 EV makers jumping into the fray at one point. But as the dust settled and reality set in, that number took a nosedive to about 100. 400 companies just gone. Imagine that. China poured nearly $30 billion into the EV industry, offering rebates up to $8,400 per ride. This created a gold rush with companies churning out EVs that, let's be honest, weren't exactly the top of the line. Many could barely make it 60 miles on a charge. When China started dialing back the incentives in 2019, the house of cards began to collapse. Companies that had been riding the subsidy waves suddenly found themselves high and dry, and their fleets of EVs ended up dying in fields. And it's not just about new cars. The second-hand EV market is facing its own set of challenges. Prices for used EVs are dropping faster than for their gas-guzzling counterparts, particularly because buyers are now aware of EV problems like fires, range anxiety, and the poor condition of charging infrastructure, but more on this towards the end. Now, let's look at the company which single-handedly caused the Chinese market to crash, BYD. Deciding to shake up the entire game by slashing prices of their EVs to less than $14,000, it was a bold move, signaling not just a price cut, but a full-on war. 
This led to a scenario where nearly 90% of EV companies in China started bleeding money. Despite this, they kept slashing prices, betting everything on the future where EVs reign supreme. The strategy was clear, survive now, dominate later. And with two out of every five new cars in China being electric, the stakes couldn't be higher. Even big names like Jeep and GM are feeling the heat, with a joint venture for Jeep in China heading towards bankruptcy. But in reality, are Chinese EVs any good? In a recent survey for EV reliability, Tesla and Geely, another EV startup, came out on top with the lowest numbers of complaints per 10,000 vehicles sold. But other than this, BYD, VW, and all other brands did terribly. The VW ID4X is hanging out with a score of 32.5, and the BYD models are not faring much better, with the Dolphin at 37.3 and the Han at 38.5. And then there's the Lixiang 1, which, with 41.8 faults per 10,000 vehicles, is about 20 times worse than the Tesla Model Y. Yeah, you heard that right, 20 times the headache. VW is losing money and pleading other Chinese car makers for partnerships in order to stay afloat in the market. But these Chinese EVs are really bad and, most importantly, unsafe. They haven't entered the US market yet, but Chinese EVs are all over Europe and the Europeans aren't happy. The automotive industry is a big deal in the EU, with exports up to 6.3 million vehicles a year and a 101.9 billion euro trade surplus. It's not just about money, it's about jobs for 13.8 million Europeans. The share of Chinese EVs in the EU market has been growing too, from a tiny half percent in 2019 to a noticeable 8.2% in 2023. Due to issues like huge panel gaps and cars that are unstable at high speeds, many people are saying that the Chinese dumped poorly built EVs into the EU on purpose. And to add a bit of fire to the fuel, EVs in China have been catching fire, literally with videos of Teslas and NIOs bursting into flames. And surveys show that nearly 70% of people regret buying an NEV. It's clear there are quality and safety issues to address. Another hot story is from Xpeng, one of the biggest EV companies in China. Zhao Peng, this tech-savvy entrepreneur behind Xpeng, has seen his fortune take a nosedive, plummeting almost 80% from its peak in 2021. Imagine having a net worth of billions, and then poof, it drops to 1.4 billion. Still, a lot of money, but when you're playing in the billionaire's league, that's a hard pill to swallow. Xpeng's stock has been tanking, losing more than 60% in the past 12 months. And this is just one of those many companies that got swallowed in the EV gold rush. And on top of all this, China is also playing a shady game to enter the US market. China, which is basically the leader of graphite production, a super important material for EV batteries, has decided to play hardball, putting export sanctions on these EV minerals. No more EV minerals for the US, meaning prices of our EVs will go up, and the Chinese will then come and take over with their cheap EVs. This decision from China has taken everyone by surprise, coming out of the blue and way earlier than anyone expected. It's like China is subtly reminding the world, hey, remember who's boss when it comes to manufacturing the guts of your shiny EVs. And with China refining over 90% of the world's graphite into battery-ready material, this move has sent shockwaves through the industry. This whole situation has sparked a rush among miners outside China to get their graphite projects off the ground, as everyone scrambles to find alternatives. But it's not going to be easy. China's move is a clear signal to the West that it's not going to make the EV transition smooth sailing for them. But nobody should buy poor quality EVs, no matter how cheap they are. Sure, some companies are improving. But China's crashing EV market is a testament of what could happen if too many companies compete against each other for something that nobody wants. BYD and Tesla are already two major powers, and as time comes, maybe they could even destroy companies we all love, like GM and Ford. Would you ever buy a Chinese EV? Do you think you'll ever buy an EV at all? Let me know in the comments below. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.